All right, so the most important chart is our trend chart. Our trend chart right here is going to tell us, our trend chart's gonna tell us what the trend is. Now, the easiest way to look, look at it, I got a small MA on our trend chart. This is a built-in trend filter into our Renko bar. So you can see that we've been a short bias. I put this over top profile. We've been a short bias. There's only been two trend changes this morning. I mean, for the whole entire session, we had a trend up bias, 90% body of the candle close here. That's been bias up since last night. And we've been biased down only shorts this morning, only short setups right here, 90% candle close. That has been nothing but sell setups, no buys. You'd have no buys on your trade blotter since 4.50 this morning. If you had any buys on your trade blotter, you are totally against the market and you are wrong. And that's where you should get stopped out. You should be stopped out against the against the professional traders because the pros are short all the way down through here. How can we time our trade then? If we're on the right side of the small MA, which we are, how can we get short the market? The best way to get short is you're going to catch wrongly positioned traders when the opposite bar comes in right here. Green came in. This high right at that level was look for the sim dots to come in and stop the market. Actually, look at right there. Sim dots came within two ticks of sim dots, negative market delta. That's my first trade called a retracement trade. There it happened right there. Stop within two ticks of symmetry. Never closed above it like it did here. See how it never closed above it? That is a sell signal right there because my trend chart, opposite color green bar came in. That's a counter trend traders or the wrongly positioned traders. We look for the first retracement back up into sim dots within two ticks. Start looking for a negative market delta. So that nailed that high. But that's for early morning traders. Not a lot of you traders come in. And I said yesterday, what I tell you yesterday, got a lot of members in the room that don't even log in here that trade from five to around six o'clock in the morning. We've been getting a lot of directional moves over the last year and a half and crude. Well, guess what? It started right around five, 545 this morning, this big move. So just heads up. You don't have to do that, though. A lot of trades happen between 7.45 to 10.30. The majority of traders in this trading uh, system trade that time frame, 7.45 to 10.45, 1.30 to 2.30, or 1.15 to 2.30 in the afternoon. So that was one trade up. That's a retracement trade because the opposite color candle came in on my trend chart that showed counter trend traders, right? Just like here. The green bars came in down here showing there's counter trend traders coming in. So what we're getting now is just a little sell-off right here because the counter trend traders came in. The trend traders are coming back in the market, pushing it down. We do not take this last arrow, though, because we closed above symmetry. This is very important. That's why I want to do this video that you understand this. The difference in this sim trade, I had a doji right up there, the difference in this sim dot trade and this sim dot trade with trend chart is the trend chart both had it both had counter trend traders coming in counter trend traders there green counter trend traders here green the difference is when it closed green up here you look for a retracement to the sim dots within two ticks and it can exceed it just can't close above it so that was a sell never closed above it the difference down here is look how accurate my sim dots are with my trend chart I got a green bar that showed counter trend traders are coming in at the lows down here. However, when it came up to my sim dots, what did it do? It closed a whole body candle close above it. So that tells me what? Possible move back up in the market. So don't take this arrow on a retracement trade. Take this with or without an arrow with negative market delta within two ticks of symmetry. It can break it inch your bar. Just can't close above it. But this one closed above it. What I want to see is happen is break through this sim again at 52.13, take the retest of it, and let's get short again. That's what I want to see. Okay, let the market confirm. So that's how my retracement trade works. You use the trend chart, the sim dots by themselves, you will absolutely get killed. You'll get killed with the sim dots as a standalone system. We've had some traders try to do that, and they're like, how, why am I getting stopped out? Because the sim dots are just a secondary indicator. It's not a primary indicator. The primary indicator is a trend chart, and I keep telling traders that over and over again. The trend chart will not go against the overall market. It's going to go with the push. I have a built-in Rinko 
with the built-in trend filter built in. This is not going to do you wrong because there's only been two trends this morning. It's been trend up from here. It's been trend down from here. So you know your bias right from that arrow since 445 this morning has been nothing but sells, no longs. Okay, so that will help you out getting you on the side of the, uh, the trend chart. So now, how do I time my trade to get in? Like I said, if it closes the opposite color bar against a trend filter, which we had here, one below the small MA, the body of the candle, then there's your sell retracement. Here's green bars. Here's your sell retracement if SIM holds. What if the market's too weak? And this is where a lot of you guys got on it. This is where I elected to jump on it this morning also. I looked at the momentum chart right here. Here's the momentum chart. It's been on fire this morning with all these moves up. Caught the lows here. It's caught the lows here. It's caught the lows. Trend chart was up, right? Well, let me show you this so you understand it. Here's when you use the momentum chart. The momentum chart, let me skinny it down. You want to stick on the side of the bias. Right here, the counter trend traders got caught on the way back up if you're an early morning trader. Opposite color candle came in red. This low was what? Was it an arrow over here on my momentum chart? You know it was right there. It caught the exact arrow low. Check this out. Look at that small stop. Caught that big swing up. That's your biggest price point, a biggest spot in the market to move up. Now, let me get these off. How about when the counter trend traders came in on the way on the trend chart when it switched over? Here, it switched over. 53.10. Did it come up and get 53.10? Right here. Red, green bar came in opposite the trend chart. Sure did. Those are your two biggest buy and sell points of the market for the day. Right there. That's actually on symmetry also. It caught the big swing up and the big swing down. Okay? The hottest part in the market you're going to get, and let me explain this to you. The hottest part in the market that you're going to get is when you're in the trend chart and you are below all three MAs, Or, or, or and below two of these, right when you crack two of these, all three MAs or above all three MAs. Look for momentum trades. They are gorgeous setups. Look at that. When it closes the opposite color candle, you're catching the wrongly positioned traders. Look how my Fibonacci arrows caught it. Now, this one this morning, a lot of traders I keep telling traders, 7.45 in the morning to 10.30 is our time to trade. Look at this fib arrow right at 750. We had one yesterday just like this. You only had an 11 tick stop, 110 stop loss. Your fill was 65. Got as low as 05. That's a $600 trade. $600 trade potential in a matter of 15 minutes with an $110 stop loss. That's a 6 to 1 reward to risk ratio. And I keep telling traders what you want to try to get is a 4 to 6 to 1 reward. If you're not doing that, if you get one to ones, you shouldn't trade the markets. That's a six to one. Okay? So that's how we trade. We're either going to get an opposite color candle come in and get a sim a retracement trade, or if the market's too weak and it's red, 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 below my trend chart, red, 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 or green, 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 green. Then hey, that's okay. Let's take my uh, retracement trades off my momentum chart. Look how gorgeous that is. That's the difference between a novice trader and a professional trader. We know the exact spots to look at in the market. We know exactly when to pull the trigger based upon trend, not getting in, countering the overall push of the market. All right, only two setups. That's it. Two setups. Retracement trading and trend trading. I mean momentum trading. Two setups. Two different charts to look at. This is more retracement, deeper retracements. This is momentum over here. Cheryl, go to gold real quick, and we'll shut this off. Uh, go to gold, Cheryl. Gold. All right, gold. What are we in gold? Now we're in a different scenario. We had this trade set up like this yesterday, and we nailed it. Look at the difference. Let me pull crude over here next to the trend chart. Look at the trend chart in gold versus the trend chart on crude. Now, it doesn't take the smartest bear in the woods to realize that we are in two different, uh, different types of market. I'm in trend here in gold, I mean crude, so I'm shorting, Fibonacci arrow short, 
and I'm in chop here in gold. It takes you a half of a nano of a second to realize if you take any trend trades on gold right now, you are wrong. You're wrongly positioned. And any traders trying to trade trend on gold right now are wrong because we're chop. Why? Look how the MAs are sideways or flat. Look, they're horizontal. Look at my small MA, intermediate MA, and my larger MA. They're flat as a pancake. So what does that tell me? It tells me that I want to, that I'm in a chop market, a chop market. So what do I want to do? If I'm in a chop market, I take no arrows on the five or three sim. No arrows on the sim dots, no arrows on the three sim. None, zero. Don't take them. Don't take any arrows if you're chop. Until what? Until the market breaks out. I set this trade up yesterday. It worked out great for us. Got first and second targets. We got the same setup coming up this morning. I want to see this market break out. How can I tell when it's going to break out? Very simply. Now we don't look at the trend chart so much if we're in chop. What we want to do now is we want to look at market profile and my sim dot chart. How do we do it? Let's look at gold. Look how gold is hitting support <clears throat> down here on low value area, my green low value volume profile. Resistance up here at high value area. Look at my sim dots. Look how they're holding my SIM dots at 9170 and holding my SIM dots at 94. So I look at my profile. Let me skinny this over. These are the two charts you want to concentrate in range markets or flat markets until they break. Look at this. It takes you a half a second to realize that you are in a chop market. My MAs are flat sideways. My LVA is being contained. My HVA is being contained. My SIM dots are contained, so what do I want to do? I know that we've seen thousands of trades like this over the years, right, since we opened the trade room, that we want to wait for a breakout before we take any FIB arrows. I want to see it cut right through high value area and SIM dots, cut right through low value area and SIM dots, then the retracement. Then we get back on Fibonacci arrows. That's the difference between trading chop versus trend chop can be just as profitable it just takes a little more patience because in chop you do not trade the middle this middle here forget about it you can sell hva and buy lva from coast to coast trades back and forth it's like a ping pong back and forth between lva and hva lva and hva but if you want to take a fibonacci arrow off my five or three sim because they're very productive like crude was this morning then you better wait till you get a breakout. Then we jump on the first one. Okay? That's trend versus shop.